What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade every single bow and arrow inside Der Eisendracke. So the first thing you guys need to do is make sure you fill up all the three dragons. Now the first one is located at the side of the castle near the spawn area. The second one is located in the main control room. And then the final one is located in the pyramid room. Once you get all of those filled up, you will then get access to the bow. Once you've got the bow, you can start four different quests to start upgrading them. The first one I'm going to show you right now is the lightning bow. To upgrade this particular bow, you need to go and collect their specific arrows. So the arrow that I'm going to collect for is the lightning one, and that's located on this weather vane. Just shoot the bow at the weather vane and a hole will appear in the wall. Pick up the bow and there you go, that is the first step complete. The next thing that you need to do is go and shoot the three bonfires around the map. You can find the first one to the right of the clock tower, then the next one can be found also where the clock tower is. You can shoot it from there, but I find it a lot easier to go down to near double tap. The next one after that is over near the rocket testing area. After you've done all of those guys, you then need to make your way back to the pyramid room. If you look on the wall, you'll see these symbols that are kind of like a gust of air. Just wait until the room goes to zero gravity, then wall run along these symbols, making sure that you hit all five. If you touch the ground on this step, guys, it will be restarted. You will know you've done this correctly when the symbols will stay lit up. After you've done this, you need to go and find these urns. There are three located around the map, and you need to get around 10 zombie kills for each one. Once you've got the zombie kills on them, just hold R2 and your bow will become electric. Then you need to repeat the process of the bonfire steps with the electric bow. So make sure you shoot all of the bonfires again. The first urn is located in the bell tower. The second is located in the room above double tap. And the third is located in the rocket testing facility area. Then you're on to the next step. Make your way back to the weather vane where you originally got the arrow from. Hold the action button on the electric and wait for it to turn into a bow. Pick up the bow, take it to the pyramid room, and find the box located with the corresponding symbol, and place it in there. Collect around 15 to 20 zombie souls, and once no more souls are going into the box, you can place your bow and arrow back in there. And that will then turn into the electric bow. The next bow we're going to be doing is the wolf bow, guys. Once you've got the original bow after filling up the dragons, you'll then need to go and find these paintings. There are four in total around the map. One in the clock tower, one under the room under the clock tower, one in the main control room, and one next to Eddie's room where the knights are. When you hold the action button on these paintings, you get a sound. If you get the right painting, it will make a sound like a strum of a guitar. It'll only take you a few tries to get it, but you need to click on the correct painting in the correct order, and they are different every single time. So once you get one guitar sound, move on to the next one. If you get another guitar sound, move on to the next one. If you get another guitar sound, you've done it correctly. Just go over to the final painting and do that right. If you do get one wrong though, just head back to the first one you did and try and find out where the second one is located. Once you've completed that, come back down to the pyramid room and you'll see the wolf element will be there. Once you've picked it up, make your way to the rocket testing area. There'll be this red flag on the mountain that you have to shoot. Once you've shot that, a wolf skull will start to fall. Pick it up and go back to the pyramid room. Once you place it onto the skeleton next to the wolf box, a ghost dog will appear. Follow that ghost wolf and then kill zombies around the area that the wolf tries to dig up. There'll be three areas that he tries to do this. One in the main courtyard, one down near double tap and one near the pyramid room. Once it's finished filling up with souls, then you can pick up the thing he tries to dig up in the first place. Once you've collected all of those three items, head back over to the wall run. There'll be a piece missing in that wall run. Once it goes to zero gravity, make your way wall running and shoot inside that hole. If you've done it correctly, a ledge will appear and you can stand on that ledge. Hold down the action button and a skeleton will appear holding an arrow. Pick up the arrow and go back over to the pyramid device. Place the arrow inside the wolf box and kill the zombies until the souls stop being extracted. Then place the bow inside and collect the new one. The next bow we're going to be upgrading is the teleporting bow. To get the teleporting element, you need to head over to where double tap is. Shoot this part of the roof 
And there you go. Pick up that elemental bow. Now you need to begin the first step, which is heading over to the room under the clock tower. Getting a melee kill with the arrow on the purple square. Once you've got that melee kill, the floor will break and you can hold the action button to lift up this vase. Once the vase is up to the roof, a demonic voice will tell you to go and collect what is scattered around the map. He's referring to the skulls. The first one can be found on this window ledge in the main courtyard. The next can be found in the sink near the teleporter. The next one is in the back of the truck near the rocket testing area. The one after that can be found down this tunnel near spawn. And the one after that is in Samantha's bedroom with the final one being near double tap. Once you've completed all of those, head back to the vase room and make some crawlers. Once the crawlers go into the purple sacrificing area, the skulls will start killing them. Do this with six crawlers and you are on to the next step. The demonic voice will then tell you his name. Write down his name. It will tell you something along the lines of Crown Door Heart or Griffin Door Heart. Something along those lines. It will be different every single time, but make sure you write it down. It will be extremely important in the next step. You then need to kill zombies. Collect the purple symbols that the zombies are dropping. There will be six in total. Once you've collected all of the six pink symbols, go over to the knights. This is where you need to remember the demonic announcer's name. They will correspond with the statues and the symbols. So if, for example, he said his name was Horn, Door, Griffin, you need to go and find the knight that has a horn symbol, click X, write down what that symbol shows. Then do the same for Door, and then do the same for Griffin. Once you have all the three symbols, head back to the purple room and shoot the correct symbols in that order. The skulls will then start to fly and a purple light will appear. Hold action on that purple light and the arrow will then be yours. Go back to the pyramid room just like the other steps. Place the arrow in the correct box and collect the souls. Place in your bow and the new one will then appear. Finally, let's do the fire bow. The elemental arrow for this bow can be collected at the top of the clock tower. Shoot the wall and you'll have it. After this, head down to the rocket testing area. Let the rocket set off and wait for the doors to open. As soon as they do, make your way out of there and quickly as possible shoot this glowing rock. If done correctly, it'll shoot a large fireball into the sky and then you have to move on to the next step. You need to use these launch pads for the next step, so make sure they are all turned on. Use one of the launchers and then shoot the red circle with the bow while you are in the air. This is extremely difficult guys, so just keep on trying. You then have to repeat this for two more times for the other two circles around the map with the other two jump pads. Once they're all lit up, you need to start collecting souls. Simply stand on these circles that are glowing and get kills. You will know that you've done it correctly when an orange light fills up the circles. Once you've done all three, head back to the clock tower. You can now hold action on the clock tower cogs. This will then show a symbol. Mine was the star symbol, but it can be different every single time. And these symbols correspond with the fireplaces around the map. So I went to each fireplace and mine was the one inside Eddie's room. Once you've done that, you then need to go on to the next round. A little volcano will appear at one of the three fire circles. From here, you have four shots of the bows to get the volcano into the corresponding fireplace. Stand in the circle and take your first shot. Wherever that lands, that is when the new volcano will appear. Take the second shot, and then on the third shot, I finally got mine into the fireplace. Once you've got it in there, dudes, hold X on the action button on the fireplace and head back to the huge fireball in the sky near the death ray. Get one zombie underneath it and kill it right there. Hold X on it and it will disappear, giving you the upgraded fire bow. Take it back to the pyramid device and start filling up the souls just like the other three bows. And there you go, guys. That is the complete guide to upgrading all of the bow and arrows inside the Eisen Dracker. I hope this helped you out, guys. If you did, please click that like button. We are aiming for 1,500 likes on this video. And if you are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.